the North Carolina Zoo is home to some of the most critically endangered species in the wild, and that includes two lemurs. In today's Zoo file, Shannon Smith shows us what's so special about these creatures. You hold my hand. That's so sweet. I loved this little lemur at the North Carolina Zoo. Oh, I love you. <laughs> but her zookeepers say she's not been as nice to other lemurs that lived here. Unfortunately, our two lemur groups stopped getting along, and so we were having to separate them and rotate which group was on habitat um, every other day. Marie's a red ruff. Since moving to the zoo, keepers say she struggled to share her habitat with a group of ringtails on Lemur Island. Miss Marie runs this island. So zoo staff decided it would be best to transfer the ringtails to Disney's Animal Kingdom. So we kept our two red ruffs, George and Marie. The zoo chose to keep the pair of red ruffs because their species is critically endangered in the wild. So critically endangered means that is the last step before extinction, um, which means they are done. You cannot find them anymore, at least in the wild. Plus, George and Marie have tons of personality, especially when they strike a pose. When they are feeling a little chilly, like today, it is a little on the chilly side, they love to go sit in the sun and where their bellies are that black color, that actually soaks in the sun really, really well. The lemurs like to run and climb around their habitat too, and even hang upside down from the trees. So in the wild in Madagascar, this is actually a way that they eat. Zookeepers believe as guests get to know George and Marie, it can benefit other lemurs living in the wild. They are kind of representing their entire lemur family by getting people excited about lemurs and seeing them, they may want to do what they can to save them or even just coming back to the zoo to visit them also helps them in the wild. At the North Carolina Zoo, Shannon Smith, Fox 8 News.